Planet Dolan. From insane cutlery arguments to Coca-Cola nightclub torture, we count 10 people who killed for stupid reasons. How's it going? I'm Danger Dolan. I'm here to decipher some random things I found on the internet the other day that I think you might be interested in. Number 10. In 2009, a young man shoved his girlfriend off a 12-story balcony after a long fight over some chopsticks. Apparently an argument started in a restaurant over some chopsticks between a couple in Singapore, leaving 19-year-old Tan Tek Sun furious at his girlfriend. When they got home, Sun flung the girl off the balcony before jumping straight after her. Unfortunately, his girlfriend was killed instantly, but Sun survived. Hopefully whichever jail this maniac was sent to uses knives and forks. Number 9. A woman who is fed up by her husband's weird kinky sex fetishes decided to kill him with a humongous dildo. Irony. The wife of Alex Mitis decided one day that enough is enough and brutally murdered her husband by shoving a 20 inch vibrator straight up his anus until his organs ruptured and he died from severe blood loss. The crazy brutalizing widow is now thankfully locked up behind bars. Number 8. A military sergeant literally blasted his wife into smithereens when he found out she was cheating on him. John Joe Winter loaded his wife's Lord Taurus with 750 kilograms of deadly Trinity Nitrate. Halfway to a destination, the car exploded with twice the force of a bomb. Neither Winter's wife nor the car were ever found. All that was left was a 55 meter crater and 500 meters of missing road. Must have been a lot of work to get those explosives and blow her up. You could say it was a... Blow job. Ah! Number seven. Man, it really sucks when your mates unfriend you from Facebook, but you move on. That is, unless you're this one woman who decided to pay them back by violently murdering them all. Janelle Potter lost her shit when her former pals Billy Payne and Billy Haysworth unfriended her on the social networking site, likely because she was a psychopath. Potter sent her brother and her father around to the house where the Billies lived, shot them, and then had their throats cut. Jesus Christ, I'd hate to sneeze near this woman. She'd probably set off a bunch of nukes. Number six. A fight between two homeless guys turned fatal when one of them refused to share a bag of snacks. Roger Wilkes was living on the streets of St. Louis when he somehow scored himself a sweet bag of Cheetos. Another homeless man named David Scott wanted in on the cheesy snack, but Wilkes refused. The argument quickly escalated and Scott ended up shanking Wilkes straight in his homeless heart. The poor hungry hobo was left for dead while Scott gobbled the Cheetos victoriously. So guys, what would you do for a bag of Cheetos? Number 5. A man from Illinois straight up murdered his mother when she refused to buy him concert tickets to see Avril Lavigne. 39 year old Robert Lyons was living with his mother when she denied him the chance to see his favorite pop star in concert. Lyons exploded with rage and smashed the poor woman over the head with a cognac bottle before stabbing her nine times with two knives. He then poured chemicals over her body and left the house to have a casual dinner at Hooters. Murder is just so inexcusable, especially over songs like Skater Boy. Number four. A teenage girl from Ohio beat another girl to death for the heinous crime of farting. Shakira Dorsey was hanging out with a bunch of girls when one of her friends accidentally let out an unceremonious butt trumpet. Dorsey started teasing her mate, as you do, but her friend didn't take it very well. The argument escalated into a full-blown brawl, and the father ended up beating Dorsey to death. Some nearby adults watched the whole scene, baffled by what was happening. You know those times you let one loose and someone straight up kills you? It's so annoying! Number 3. Raul Rodriguez attempted to kill everyone at a party, 
because their karaoke was just a bit too loud. Using a flashlight to lure the singers from their house, Rodriguez hid nearby with a gun and video camera. Attempting to stealthily take them out one by one, he killed one and wounded two others, and for some reason, he filmed the whole thing. The guy tried to plead Texas's stand your ground law, which allows people to use lethal force to protect their properties. It didn't work though, the guy was thrown in jail for 40 well deserved years. Number 2 Farmville might be the most annoying or addictive game ever, but when you're ready to kill your infant son over it, you may want to consider not being stupid. Alexandra Tobias from Jacksonville was so consumed by the need to grow imaginary plants that it became more important than her crying three month old son. The baby was distracting Tobias so she shook him violently, stopping for a cigarette break and then continued to shake him to death. The abusive and negligent mother was thrown in jail. No doubt her virtual crops died while she's been in there, just like her blackened, rotting soul. Number one. A waiter in a Russian nightclub ended up being murdered by the mafia because he had the audacity of cleaning a table. Mahmoud Foley had innocently cleared away a glass of cola from a table, but he had no idea the patron he was serving was actually a Russian mafia boss. The boss was so offended that he had his goons waterboard Foley with 27 liters of Coca-Cola. Okay, so he probably could have just asked the guy first, but hey, it's much faster to kill the guy and interrogate him later. That's it for this countdown. And have a go! In order to get away from his controlling wife, he was courteous to the bank tellers, made no threats, and even loitered long after he was handed the money, asking the tellers if the police had been called. Police said that after a 10-minute conversation with the man's wife, they wanted to be put in jail, too.